Hi, John here. Today is Monday, uh, the 8th of uh, January 2018. Um, <coughs> a glorious afternoon, uh, I must say. Now, I'm just on the apostoly documents at the moment. I'm just stitching them up. I've got one here that I've just done. And uh, another one I've just stitched up as well. But I'm doing this to all the documents now uh, to single them out. These are the uh, X of King William the Fourth. So we will have King William the Third, King William the Fourth, and King George the Fourth X. We are going on in the Maui Crown Federal State Government duel with this day. Yeah, I had a bit of a clean up today uh, and um, just running another video now of uh, Morris and myself today. <coughs> just going over a few things. And so um, I've got to get on, move on now and get these things done um, in time for the, uh, um, before the uh, Waitangi Day. I want to have this all sorted, uh, really for the um, hearing, the Magistrate Court hearing on um, January the 26th, a Friday, in Tūrunga Wakamarae in Epsom. Uh, now that'll be at 10 o'clock for um, all those who are accused. I've just put a, a notice on, on Facebook, but I'll make a, a more clearer one tomorrow. When I start getting into these, I'll make all these single books out of the one big book. And where's my big book? Uh, somewhere. Oh, this one here. So I'm getting this book here. I'll sit over here. I'll put that back there. And I'll go into the computer afterwards. So I'll just show you while I'm here, it's just a book here, I've split it out, split it all out, and it's more like this, deed, okay, the deeds and settlement, the settlement, we're settling this Turiho, that's the mischievous ones that we're putting into court, Turiho, for putting this all together, this is this Iwi Maori tribe that the Crown has fashioned itself, so what I'll show you is around here, come around here in my kitchen and we have the machine here to put the backings and these combs we've got a box over here a box here uh, two different sizes so I've got to get some more sizes uh, where's the other one there's another one somewhere another one like this uh, here this one the smaller ones here for the single pages oh that's the big one. Oh, that's the one I'm supposed to use um, so you've got that size 6 and that size there. And so what I've done is split all these out and put all the um, the ones that are like this one just for the uh, Te Honga Waka Marae and Te Re Fa Manukau there. Okay, you can see there, Re Fa Re Fa Manukau. That's the man I'm talking about that has the title to Auckland and Pukekai, all that land with Rogan, you see his name in, in, in Māori there, Rokena, see, Te Rokena, that's Rogan, right, funny way of talking Māori, and Te Puke, Puke Kohi land, and it's in, there's the, the land there, Uatawa, receipt, there's the receipt, and 11th of November 1862, that's when I have received from Mr. Rogan five pounds. I will repay this to him when we receive the payment for our land, Uatawa. Pukekoe is the name of that land, Refa Refa Manika. So there, in his name is capital letters, means he's a commercial contract landowner. He was the landowner 
and still is. So I'm taking his title as being Referee for Manukau to Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau for the whole of New Zealand. There's the four chiefs at that time period. Um, we had the Hui in Te Wunga Marae, and then we had another one on the 11th of November 2017. We had another Hui in that same Marae. So we've got, we come along here, and we've got all the I've got a screen, this one, screen print, this, this one, and put that in as, as um, Exhibit A with my name as commercial landowner, right? I'm going to, the value of this is this, <coughs> where's this trillion pound note? This is a trillion pound note, it's somewhere around here, but I've put the pound notes separate. I'm going to get them all separated out. I've got the laws by themselves, and that's Morris Baker's one for his title on his land. So I'll stick that. Hori to Kuri is that one. So I'll, I'll put um, Refere for Manukau's one separate. That's the chief. And then uh, Te Waikato for the, the, the three chiefs. That's um, um, Enet Hagaraya and. Um, um, Oh, my name, my, 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 my friend, um, Paikia Walker, Dion Paikia Water Walker. Um, so that's him and me here in my surrogate king uh, clothes, uniform, and that's the Te Unga Waka Marae in Epsom. So I'm separating all these documents, the caveats for Cook Street. And this is the other book here, another one. See, I've got all the acts of King William IV here, separated out. There, I can pick any of these acts against anybody, any pirate, third party. We're going with this leg against this, these acts of King William IV, King William III, and King William, the, King George IV. Okay, so we're going with those three kings. Where's those pound notes? Put them somewhere. I've got some other books to do up as well for Apostoli, Native Affairs of South Island. No, not, not that one. It might be this one, I think. Cook Street, I've got one. Oh, this one. This one's got to be done. See? This this one's ready to Apostoli. See? With the Whakapapa and East Coast. This is King George and Reverend for Monica. 1823 here. Um, um, Baker, Morris Baker's ancestor, William B. Baker, was the magistrate resident here at Rangitukia in 1823. And in 1831, here, over here, 1831, the St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki. Look, 1831, you can see. And then you've got all the other dates, they're later than that. All the other dates, 1837. All the people in Tiararoa and Kawakao, all this was, it's 1853, they came later. So they have no, no connection to what I've gone with my own titles, 1823 and 1831, beyond where anybody can go. They're all settled in the city of Waitangi, only at 1840. You can't go back here. They've excused me in the office city settlements to go back as far as I want because these are British titles. I was just looking for the um, pound note, but no mind, he's around somewhere. I think it's over here. Over here. Oops, somewhere. <coughs> so it's, these are these chiefs, see? These are there for Monica, they're sitting right in amongst all these other ones, yet he's got no history. They've gone and destroyed it, but I've got it all here. I'm going after him. See, these are the other chiefs here. See, this camera, Campbell. See, the stupid Campbell, camera. See how they bodge these names? You see? I can go through all these and tell you which is what. But I won't bother. William Williams, you see. It's, they, they, they've got a problem because they're in New South Wales. This is British. I'm going straight British. So um, here, the pound notes are, I'm pu pulling the pound notes out separate. Put them in their own 
apostoli. What I do is apostoli is separate each document out so that they're not confused. This John Key's pound note right there with the two cheeks. And here's the pound note here. Here, here, here's the pound note here. Now there's the Ernest Augustus is our oath of office in Britain, UK right now. He is the incumbent King of Britain, UK Hanover and Altair New Zealand and Pacific Islands and the 250 countries in the world under this flag right there. The eight point stars on it. So these pound notes are here. Oh, no, I won't worry. Anyway, I was just saying this birth certificate here, that's the birth certificate, is a trillion pound note on anybody's head that is liable now on their name. John Key's name is a trillion pounds on his birth certificate. That's his, just his birth certificate. That's not the land and everything else he stole, which will come out of the 970 million trillion trillion pound note, that one over there. Oh, that one's got Jamie and me on it, Jamie and Patrick. But I'm going to um, go with the Patricks in Ireland, Northern Ireland, in Belfast, and uh, go and connect those ones up to me and my Rogan family there and Cosgrove families with the Patrick family there. Um, so this is the deed of settlement of Teori Hau, 13th of December 2000. Now, this was put together by the Crown. This is owned by Her Majesty the Queen. They put this together to make their Iwi Maori claim over Auckland. And um, taking them on, they've, they've got to come to that hui. You look up, I marked this book right through with Mohi Manukau. I went right over it with him. And we went to their huis. And they wouldn't come to ours. They just wouldn't come to our huis. And when it came to having One Tree Hill, the unveiling up there, they all wanted to come. But Mohi said, no, you're not coming. And that was the end of them. So now I'm still having them on about their title. They don't have a title. That'll stack up to what I'm doing here with these apostolies. All these documents you see strewn around here in bits have come out of this one book. Here, this one. Here, that I've put together and signed with these chiefs. Okay? And showing Kraka, or Heruini Kraka, he's 90 years old, signed this book. Uh, this is this is a magistrate. I'm using this as a magistrate. No one's to use it because it's only for people who have the right training to do it. You can't just pick it up and go and use it because it will get you. It will get you because you can't prove to being the author. That's what it is. So this is the main receipt, deed receipt, you see, deed receipt of... Refa Refa Manikau, right there, and John Rogan, here, right here, okay? So, I put it there and stamped it, and the chiefs have signed it. That's all the chiefs you need, like John Key only one signature, or the Governor General one signature, where one chief signature is here. Now, I'm just saying I didn't need anybody else, because they would not have all this behind them. They would not have all these experience behind them or can speak for these Manukau's. No one can speak for these Manukau's. Not even the Manukau's can speak for the Manukau's. You know why? Because it's a contract. You have to know what you're doing with contracts. This is a commercial contract. Private. Nobody's business. So Mohi gave it to me as private. He signed the documents I've got here as well. So that's that one. This is not, this is Tulio and Natifato stuck this together on this title and they claim all of this lot and they did it for a reason to keep all their title together and I'm challenging their title. If they don't come on the 26th of January 2018 to Tuungu with their titles against those titles there, that whakapapa you see there with the four main tribes, if they don't come with something like that then they are doomed. I can go ahead and serve these documents 
and seize any land in this country back into the Queen, the King, sorry, not the Queen, the King's Bench Court, and Ernest Augustus, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and Aotearoa New Zealand, and us, the surrogate King, and the Chief, and there was one, and there was two. Uh, so these here, I'll just, leave the, I'll just carry on, but as you can see, that's how this goes together. So it's a lot of work to sort out. So my place is a bit cleaner now. And I've just taken a couple of pages out of um, Maura's book here to put into the apostoly for her. I'm apostoling her as well because the Russells have got a lot to do with these titles and the formation of the Crown Corporation of Australia and Britain. Now there's a mix-up in both jurisdictions of Queen Australia and um, King Britain. The Queen is in conflict of interest now. She has gone into the EU Parliament and is trying to shut down Westminster. I'm going to shut her down for doing that to me and the natives of the world, the real natives of the world, not the bodgy second-hand Maoris who cannot prove um, that they got a real title deed, like this deed here and the deed of um, Hori Takuri here, this one here, this deed title right here, I've put together in this book, it's not finished yet because I've got some more pages to put in with his photo and the hui at uh, Tahege Marae and on top of uh, the urupa of Hori Takuri and me making statements up there that no, nobody, nobody claimed Hori Takuri on that day and that's what's going to matter um, of what um, Lobo, um, Morris, Baker and I did on um, Taheke Marae and up on uh, Urupa uh, that we went up there to claim Hori Takuri as the other third chief to Lefref Manukau and Te Rewakato Wharehirehe Manukau. The Waikaro name and the Manukau name go together, it's one name. If anybody's playing around with that name on their whakapapa, without cause or cited fact evidence to back it up, you're in trouble with this book. And <clears throat> the deeds you'll be settled the opposite to this book. You see this book here? It's the that's how thick it is. This is of equal size, about. This is a deed plus a writ of warrant to shut this lot down because this is fraud. This is corrupted. The titles of Referefe Manukau, Te Rewaikato Wharehirehe Manukau and Hori Tikuri. It has corrupted these titles. This thug Pirate, Crown, New Zealand, Maori, Iwi, gets the bill for 970 million trillion trillion pound notes. Don't laugh, because it's a done deal. This deed of settlement here is bullshit. It's bullshit. Look, I've been writing all over it. Back with my Mo Monica. I wrote all over it. All the faults in it. Right? All the faults. I, I went right over his my one to one. You see all the green marks? Look, I've written it all over, scribbled all over. I've scribbled all over the Freemasons documents I got in this other deed I put together as well. So I've got the deeds of Referef Manikau's title right there, and the deeds of Horitikuri's titles right here as well from Robo Morris. Baker. It's just as well I got kicked off to Team Marae because there's no mana there. There's absolutely no mana to Britain there at all. And it's... Whakapapas are corrupted. They are not true. I'm saying this on this video. The Whakapapas of Te Uri Ahau, Ngāti Whātua o Ōrake and Ngāti Whātua o Kaipara is fraud. It is not true. They cannot 
go up against this title here in this photobook. They cannot match this photobook. They cannot match this photobook with the Rogans, the Wainors, and the Manukau's, and now with my father-in-law, the Mehenui's, and Mangatotri Mountain Pa, Pohara Morai. That's the only marae that's the gym there. The other Mangatotari marae is not an original. They don't have them on the flat ground. It's always up on the hill somewhere in that area. So the pass site was up on the hill. That's why they destroyed everything. They destroyed the, the pass site at Cornwallis, at the Manukau Heads. That's Referee for Manikau's Marae there, but they stole his Manikau Marae at Waiuku. You people up there at Taheke, you people stole it. The Minhinex, you, um, Tim Hanger, you better take a serious look at yourself, mate, because your wife's side stole Mohi Manikau's. Referefa Manukau's, Tere Waikato, Whareherehere Manukau's, Manukau Marae at Waiuku Village. Okay, you fellas stole it, I'm telling you. I've got all the history behind my couch and over here. I've been right through it and I've pulled out some more stuff that will sink everybody. And Moira Hoffman's Whakapapa book there I've got over there, sitting over there in the printer, is going to kill the whole lot of your whakapapas strewn all over the place. That's false. It's 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 bullshit. Just like Pody Harris was saying, it's all bullshit. You fellows in your New South Wales titles are bullshit. I'm saying that to you straight to your face on this video. I'm citing you and citing uh, Waitangi National Trust, Peter Peroni, I'm citing you. You get this 970 million trillion trillion pound note on your head, mate. This pound note here. You're getting right up this your ass, Peter Peroni. This is King Ernest Augustus. He's a real king of Britain, UK right now. He's live. He's 60, 65. Same year as King William IV when he became king. This guy here is already a king. He's always was a king. Incumbent on the Dutch bloodlines, not that stupid William. He's a Spanish. Sorry, this is not Spanish, it's Dutch. New Zealand, Dutch. D-man's land, Dutch. Okay? Don't fool around because this is on your head. All of you people who have been playing around with this flag and Maori playing around with this flag it's someone's making money out of it and somebody's not making money out of it. Someone's flying it for whatever reason. The other one's flying it only to make money. That happened to be Peter Peroni and Willimu Willimu. The other side of Morris Baker's family, he doesn't care fuck who's who. All he knows is he's got all the, the, the trimmings of someone who knows what they're doing with D titles. Right? He's got the deed titles. You haven't. Unless you show me you've got a deed title with your name on it and not a bodgy name. No bodgy names like Paroni. Brown. Why don't you use your brown name? Don't use Paroni because it's, it's fucking useless. All it did was stole money. God says, don't steal. What do you do? Steal. All you bastards here in this country held me up all these years from going on my land. You trustees? This is on your heads. I'm telling you right now, I'm stitching up these documents. I'm making it public on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Google, and on my website, mypowerhouse.com, that you bunch of thugs, days are over. You've got away with it for your own private investment interest banks and the Rothschilds. 
that there is a number because that's a bankrupt you lot. Bankrupt you lot. We've had enough of you bastards on these lands as trustees. Won't let me go on my land. One of 31 land blocks. I put them on Facebook so you can all see that all those land blocks with my name on it and I can't fucking get on any one of them because I'm not a farmer. That's what this stupid tumu tumu pyro, you get this fucking right up your ass. All of you. All of you. And you, Tess Collier, you the biggest bastard out that's held me up from going on my land blocks all these years at Marangaro seat of your days are numbered. Down you go. Under the ground. Out of fucking sight. So we can get on our land and do something with it. Instead of fucking cows there all these bloody years. Cows and fucking pakias and your lot doing fuck all with it. Waiting till we're all dead and then you're going to grab the whole fucking lot. I'm going to grab the fucking lot of you. And you can fuck off. Out of it. Get out. That's what I say with this on your head. Alright? I've done all my homework. I've got all these documents together. And you can't match them. And your married land court titles are fraud. The whole fucking thing is fraud because you designed it yourself. For yourselves. Iwi Maori is a patent of your Crown Corporation in Australia and the Queen. In thin air. Not on the land, in thin air. You're controlling things from up here in somewhere in the sky. Well, we're on the land. This flag was given to us on this land. The paramount chiefs. Right? Not kings. Paramount chiefs. In this document that's on there, the king meets Hongi. And the king, George, said Hongi was a, a king. <coughs> But Hongi never was a king, he was a fighter. He just went around killing every bastard. And he killed <clears throat> Ngāti Whātua, the ISIS of this country. They weren't even a fucking real tribe. They were manufactured. Just the same as ISIS. The same trick as ISIS in America. And you, Donald Trump, your days are fucking over. Because you're only about after the money. You, you lot of elite people, only interested in money and ripping it off the people. The people will rip it off you now with these documents. I'm doing my homework. I'm a native land commissioner of the native lands as a real native surname. Hmm? For the king, the king of Britain, UK, England had the land in his name. Well, I'm saying we're going to put it back in his name and back in our name and take it off you fucking lot of pirates. So that's where we're up to. I'm taking a bit longer because I've been catching up on um, uh, doubling it back on Mangatotari Mountain. My family ties to the mountain with Peter Mihunui and his family, Peri the sister and, and um, um, Tewi, the brother and Dennis and, and, and the other ones, I can't think of the name, Aroha um, and so forth, um, Leaf. Um, so I'll meet them again and Debbie um, and, and um, oh, I forget the other one. Um, anyway, I'll meet them, oh there's one more, I can't think of it. Um, Stuff with a P. Uh, <coughs> anyway, her. Just living in Australia. So, uh, to you people, if you're watching this video from Pohara, I'm coming down there. I'm coming down there for that marae. Pohara marae is the only legitimate marae to that par site on top of the hill on Mangatotri. I've got the maps. I'm putting them on Facebook. I put one there with the connections to Horitakuri and Te Rewakato and Rewharef Manikau. Tainui, you stole it. Raukawa, Maniapura, you stole it. You stole the name Waikato and Manikau and made it your own and said, oh, we're all one. No, 
I'm saying, yeah, put things back where it was. You're tampering with history that don't belong to you. I've got it all here. I've got the Manikar's name here and the Waikaro name here to that river, Manikau Harbour, Manikau City, Auckland, and Waikato, Waikato River belonging to Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manikau. He didn't live up north with the Rnapuis. Now you fellas got a problem. You have to come to that hui with your Waikato, so called Waikato, <coughs> and convince me and the British that put this Tira Waikato's name right there. And I know the history has been altered. The history has been altered. I'm, 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 I'm citing you people, the whole lot of you, all of you, that have used that name in your treaty claims, the name Waikato and the name Manukau in your treaty claims. Because I told Rachel Holbrook for the Y121, I've got it all documented there with Mohi Manukau, I told her, take that name off your treaty claims. Take Manukau's name off the treaty claims and Waikato off it. And Rewherefa off your treaty claims. What have you got? Fuck all. Nothing. See, I'm saying to my mate Dion Paiko Walker, Tainui stole that Manga Totori mountain and all Kahu Punga Punga, Hapu's lands, the whole lot, the whole country, lock, stock and barrel, was sold to King George IV, and that's my word against yours. You can tell me any bit of the whole country, not just one bit here and one bit there and one bit there. No, the whole bloody country. I've got it here. It's going to be, it's going to be apostolized. And if you don't turn up on the 26th of January in Tūngokamurai and bring your title and your deed, because this deed is my writing, Oth, 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 and the Freemasons. Now, if the Freemasons sees you mucking around with the documents that are scribbled all over their documents, you're in trouble. So don't use it. Don't anyone use these documents, anything that I've written on the documents, because all the legal documents belong to the Freemasons in Scotland, in Edinburgh Magistrate Court. And the Freemasons' main office there in Edinburgh, and my St Mary's Church there, to St Mary's Church in Tikitiki on the land blocks, and my Wānoa Urupa at the Rahui Marae in Tikitiki. That's my Wānoa Urupa and title to Uetaha Chief to the whole of Portikiroa Ki Waipu area, the whole area linked to the Manukau family and Rogan family and Cosgrove family and Patrick family with the same point style municipalities to build the shit out of you all. Okay? You better listen because nobody's been listening. And that's your problem because this is going to the next level. And there's problems with Trump already. I'm just trying to tell Maura Hoffman I can tell a crook when I see one. He's a big crook. Anybody in real estate is a big crook because their titles are fraud. Cook Street's fraud, the rest of the whole world is fraud. That's why this town knows is fraud, to bankrupt the whole fucking lot of you. Right? It goes back to the king by default of the queen walking out and abandoning ship of Admiralty and this flag of Admiralty then going to run her own business and left you bastards with no queen. You have no queen. You lot of useless pricks here in this country in New Zealand. You have no queen. That's what I said to the judge when he put me on a stand in the dock and I said, you've got no queen. I came out of the prison, who arrested me here, took my shirt with King all over it, King William here and Badge here, Eight Point Star here, Coat of Arms here, Flags here, and this bitch, this fucking bitch white woman, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, this fucking pound out on your fucking head and a trillion on your head. You're going to get fucking hung or put in prison with this ex of King William right here that I have here. 
in one of his apostolic books. You can be hung for treason, for arresting a surrogate king. I'm a surrogate king, and that's all there is to it. I'm allowed to speak for the king because nobody else can. And it appears that everything's on track, as far as I can see. I'm standing on the side of the Freemasons in Edinburgh, and I'm standing on the side of King Ernest Augustus, the fifth reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover. And reigning monarch here, as far as I'm concerned, I'm nominating him straight into Westminster as the King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and boot the shit out of William and his mongrel mob mafia cabal family out of Britain. Kick them right off the land, out into the EU Parliament. Kick them, that's where they're operating from. All their fraud business, scam business, trying to shut down Westminster to hide all their fraud. No, you've got, you've got, you've got you sewn up, stuck there before you run away. I've stuck this to you before you run away. I'm going to stick it for the last time on the 26th. That if you none of your agents, Queen Elizabeth II, you bastard, if none of your agents here turns up to defend themselves, then you're all fucking gone. You're all gone, and I'm going to pay the pound note to the British military and every other military in 250 countries with this flag to go after all of you bastards and you lot here that are voting for the Queen, voting for the government here to keep rolling over this racket legacy in this Parliament in Wellington that has caused all the problems in the world of treason, fraud and war and banks. It's here in Waitangi Marae. You're going to get hung, Peter Peroni, and you fucking lot of thugs in there. I'm calling you thugs on this video. You're, it's up to you to say you're not a thug and come and defend yourself in this native magistrate court. Right? They had native magistrate courts right here in Maura Hoffman's book. Right here. Can you see? Can you put your fucking eyes there and see? The Russell family, who set this country up, had marais. That's Taheke Marai, the only marai in Hokianga next to Rawani. And Taheke Marai is this marai. And the other marais of Terawakato Farehere Manukau at Poharapa Marai and Mangatotari Mountain Pa and Manukau Marae at Waiuku and Manukau Marae at Pupanga Pa site at Cornwallis. Okay? Hokianga here. London here. What more do you want? Now, that's the title I'm working on and more often giving me this book so I can wrap you over the knuckles with this power note on all of your heads. The whole lot in the world, 7.5 billion people minus the elites and all the people who vote for the Queen. I'm striking you out in this lot and you get that bill on your head straight into Westminster. I'm going into Westminster through DUP party. Belfast, if you listen to this, Arlene Foster, first Prime Minister of Northern Ireland, I'm coming to see you with this flag and raise this flag because St. Patrick's municipalities of the eight point star in the four corners of the earth, north, east, south, west, or Naho Efa in Maori, in native language, is St. Patrick buried in Down Patrick in Northern Ireland, Belfast. That's my family, Arlene. That's my family with the Cosgroves there and Cosgrove lawyers and Rogan judges and land surveyors. Okay, you got that? And I'm coming as a creditor. I'm coming with you to go straight into the party, uh, into Westminster and boop the Queen's uh, Lords out. Boop the whole fucking lot out because it was mention of doing that. And start fresh with the King's common people's <coughs> politicians. Brexit. I'm going with Brexit, with this flag and this pound note. 
Okay, I'm making this statement, I can swear as much as I can. The king can do anything. And build everybody on their head. So that's what's going to happen, people. I'm making this announcement prior to the meeting at uh, Tuangua Kamarai in Epsom on the, uh, Friday, Friday the 26th of um, January 2017, 2018 at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, you be there, John Key. If you're not there, you're going in prison or hang under the British law. Land laws of England and the acts of King William IV inside this smaller books, the apostoly books. Yeah, you see this? Apostoly book. There's the Acts of King William. This will have its own apostoly. One for King William the Fourth, just this one. All his acts are in here. See, I've marked them all. From 1830 to 1837, I can pull out any one of these acts. It's got the Hanging in Chains Act there. That's why I say I can fucking hang you with this Hanging in Chains Act. I'll use it. Okay? We can use these acts. Not Maori. Maori can't use these acts. Only Maui. Only Maui. And a paramount chief. Not the Iwi. Not the... Um, um, Arikis. Arikis don't, they don't go commercial. I'm going straight commercial law, land, and it's not going to disappear in a hurry. It's not going to disappear because we have the right to carry on it if the Pope's got rid of his. The Pope's got rid of your admiralty but not ours. Our admiralty will remain there with this flag intact. And we are going to use King George the Fourth X on you. King William the Third's X will be in one of these books. And King George the Fourth X, King William the Fourth, this is King William the Fourth X <coughs> for this bow note. For this flag. For me, a Soviet king, for Ernest Augustus, the reigning monarch, current, he is the reigning monarch, current, for Britain, UK. It can't be any other king, because there's one already there, incumbent, and following this flag of jurisdiction and its bloodlines to those three kings and the three chiefs, right through the world. These apostolies will go right through the world. From that Church of Canterbury as master. I'm going as Grand Master in native terms. The author of everything I do online in front of you. And the videos, there's 1472 videos now in YouTube. No, 73 now with this one. I just put one on just not so long ago and this one as well. So I'm just saying with um, all these documents here and that one there, that whakapapa going in the book as well and that one of Tūngoka Marae, that, this is Tūngoka Marae here, that was on the 11th of um, um, December 2017 uh, and it, Hakarai was there with me and that's all I needed with her and um, Dion Paiko Walker and his wife Tika, <coughs> T, that's her name, T was there, <coughs> and uh, that's all that matters um, in that hearing was for um, Rewhere for Manukau's anniversary of the Native Land Laws of New Zealand, 1862, was between Rogan and, um, Ter uh, and Rewhere for Manukau on the 11th of November, 1862, that formed the basis of these titles that I'm doing here and all those X and everything that's going on. <coughs> um, so that's about all I wanted to say in my little machine here. And I've got to get some more bigger ones of these tomorrow. I'm doing these um, methodically. Now this is the um, agreement of Clendon Master of the City of Edinburgh. Look, you see? The City of Edinburgh, right there. It just says here, copy of General Deeds, Deeds number 80, that's the one I just uh, did um, with uh, Referef Manukau. Memorandum of Agreement between J.R. Clendon, 
master, see, this is the master of the city of Edinburgh. On the one part in Kiwi and Pomare, um, Bitoi on the other part. So this is at the same time as as a referee from Manukau. These titles here on the same page on the book. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. But this Stuart there, right? Just the Stuart family, the King family, and the Peterson family that were tied up in these land deals. Uh, James Reddy Clinton. So James Rennie Clinton went down the east coast to Rangitukia as well and had a hand in those land blocks there in 1862 there of. <coughs> so um, that one was um, um, the big long one. Where did I see it? Oh, I thought somewhere. Put it somewhere. Anyway, it was a picture of all of the I'll get them all mixed up before long. Oh, I don't find it in mind, no matter. I think it's on this other one here, these ones. Oh, hang on. Too many papers around, I'll get mixed up. We've got three computers going. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, I'll try and find it. A bit, of, a bit of a clean up. Finally, have a clean up after a long time. See, these have been signed, so I just get them apostolate, which, which means authenticated, to become legal. Once they're apostolized and legalized, that's it. They are going to be forced on anybody in the road. There's third parties. They're all third parties from here on in. In a commercial world. Okay, commercial world. That means not so much the land, but the legal documents that hold over the land. And all those people in America, they're getting caught up with um, Trump and all the rest of the land titles there. They've got bigger problems. They've got bigger problems because their titles have been spun over a few more times than the normal and gone into different jurisdictions. And that's what's made it worse because... Daryl Pan's going through one at the moment, and um, I'm hoping that he can figure it out. I'll just turn this bit of light on the subject. Now that's the Freemasons there. I've got all their documents from them, and the forms here. So I'll be tying in with them to um, their documentation, and I'll open their mouths as well. It's going to open people's mouths and start talking. Who's on the land? Um, um, my concern is who's on the land and what are they doing with it? What are you doing on the land? All right, that's all I want to know. What are you doing? This one's got another one to it. I'm just trying to find it. Um, it's got those. Oh, there, here it is. That's one. That's one. Eighteen thirty two, look. Eighteen thirty two. That was right back. That was still referred for Monica eighteen thirty. See? Referred for Monica eighteen thirty. This one, this one here. Yeah, see this 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 is the deeds of referred for Monica. Yeah, there's his name right there, look. And Pukikoi right there. The whole of Pukikoi, right from Clevedon right over to Waiuku, across the Bombay Hills, all that area was in his name. That's the main one there, but there's another one. Um, that's Lobo's titles. I've got those separated out. I'll, I'll get them sorted out yet. They're all mixed up, but I'll, I'll sort them out. Um, that's the original. 2008, that one. 2008. Oops, I've got them all mixed up now. I might not get find them. I'm going to sort them out. I want to split them out. Anyway, that, that'll do. That'll do. I'll just finish off this video with that one. I'm a little bit tidy now. I can see if I'm a bit anymore. I can, I can go on in now. I'm just talking out on the couch. Sleep anyway in the paddock. 
Uh, so that's uh, me. I'm just going to do a little test of my pressure. See what it is. I'm going to show you who's that. Somebody's Cecile Hoods. Hi. Hi, John. Hello. We had power since then. I just finish this. Finish with you. Finish. This video. Video. Oh, three minutes. Minutes. Okay, be with you. Right, I'm just going to do this little test. It's been reading high lately, but I'm hoping that it will go back down. I think it's just. I need more rest. Okay, here we go. That's Cecile Foods, my manager. Here he goes. I'm going to show you. There he goes. Up she goes. No, 219, 218. Poof, we went up to 218. Whoa. That's not good. 218. Blood pressure went up to 218 before it shut down. Whew. There he goes. 183. Over 99, over 78. That's without medication. It's supposed to be 147 over 85, over 60. That just shows you this is my normal um, write up in the heartbeats. 183. Oof, I'm not proud of that, but however, I'd rather have it higher than low any day. Okay, so. That's all of that. I'll just go back to Cecile. That's the reading there, if you can see it. Right? But this, um, I don't know if you can see it, there's some light on it. There. Okay? Not a pretty sight, but however, I gotta yeah, keep moving. I spend more time on these computers than I'm meant to, but I've just got a lot of work to do, and I haven't been going to the gym because I've been doing this. It takes a lot out of you. Okay, so that's all I want to say for now. I'm just going to. go to Cecile now and we'll end this video here now. Okay, so we'll catch up with you on the next round. Have a nice evening. Bye.